Hello guys, so a lot of people are curious what is exactly is a session in Google Analytics? Why you don't have just like page view or user view or stuff like that? So let's just go to this uh, official explanation from Google. So what is a session? A session is a group of user interactions with your website that take place within a given frame, time frame. For example, a single session can contain multiple page views, events, social interactions and e-commerce transactions. You can think of a session as a container for the actions a user takes on your website. So <clears throat> let's just imagine this bubble they have right here, right? So let's imagine some user who goes to your website and does <clears throat> a number of these interactions. So he views home page, then he goes to pricing page on your website. Then he clicks uh, on a button, uh, book a demo, for example, or, or trial sign up. Then he wants to share your page on a Facebook and then he, he buys a product in your e-commerce store. So all of this stuff, which probably consisted of, I don't know, five page views, uh, four events, uh, one social interaction, maybe a few transactions, all of this stuff is basically one session. So it, it can be, uh, <clears throat> it can be a question why why Google should do that. It's basically it's it's for better tracking and for better understanding of user journey. Uh, uh, also, you need to remember that if user went to your website and did all of these events, uh, but then he was inactive for thirty minutes. Uh, the new session will start again or if uh, there was a midnight or a campaign change so if a user arrives while one campaign leaves and then comes back via a different campaign <clears throat> so these are the limitations for sessions so let, let's just go to google analytics and here see how it works so as you see now, two most important metrics in your Google Analytics home are users and sessions. So users are basically unique visitors who go to your website uh, and sessions, these are like, uh, these contain interactions they do on your website. So for why, uh, and users always will be lower than sessions, obviously, because there, there can be like five people who visit in your website but who, who did like seven sessions or eight sessions. But previously, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, some time ago, there was another metric which was like basically a page view. So here <coughs> we can see other metrics. If you go to audience overview, so we can see sessions, users and page views. So page views, also will be higher than users and sessions because these are just basically a number of pages which uh, current user viewed on your website. So out of session, this, these are page views. Also, of course, you can see every session duration, your bounce rate and percentage of new sessions. So yeah, that's, that's basically it. Uh, that's how you do it. So just a little trick, a, a lot of bloggers, when they're asked uh, how, how many visitors does your website have, <coughs> they say page views, because obviously page views is, would be a much higher number. So let's, let's just imagine one, one user went to your website, it will be one user. <coughs> he clicked on three pages. So, so we will have like three page views and then he closed website. So we will still, will still have only one session. But then if in the same day or a few days later, same user comes back to, re to your website and uh, views another three pages. So we will have like still one user because it's one unique user, but we will have six page views and then we'll have two sessions because there, there were two, two like these interactions with your website. And for example, he closes uh, his tab and returns to your website after 30 minutes. So we will still have one user 
and if you use three pages and you have nine uh, page views and three sessions so th so that's basically uh, that, that's how it works so basically it's for uh, for better understanding of interactions users do with your website and, and not just uh, uh, under uh, like having these page views which, which are less accurate uh, metric uh, so yeah uh, th thanks for watching hope you enjoy this trick and now you understand what is a session in google analytics